Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have a brand new update for the Samsung Notes application, and with this new update, we are getting three new features. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. I'm gonna show you the old version and the new version and the exact new features and differences. Let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so real quick to update Samsung Notes, the latest version, what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below that's gonna take you to my website, once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit, okay? Under download, you want to click on the link. Once you click the link, it's going to take you to the store, and at the bottom, you are going to see the update button. If you don't see it right away, you will see it soon. And if I do scroll down, you're going to see that we have three brand new options. Let me demonstrate exactly what that those are. So... Let me launch Samsung Notes right over here. So I'm gonna launch Samsung Notes, tap on Samsung Notes, do the same thing right over here, tap on Samsung Notes. I'm gonna create a brand new note. This is the old version, this is the new version. So a brand new note, brand new note. Let me show you the first easy new feature. So when you are writing on your note and you bring up the highlighter function, that's right over here, you can pick different colors and all that stuff, change the size. Now what you can do is when you pick the highlighter, you are gonna see a new option in the second row over here that allows you to actually change the opacity, the transparency of the highlighter. So that's brand new, it applies to all the colors. Don't have it here, we have it with the brand new update. So that's number one. Number two is a little bit more complicated and a more specialized function. So let me just quickly create an example here. I'm just gonna say hi, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write something right here. Let me go back to keyboard. Let me just say A, B, C, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna tap on the attachment, I'm gonna insert an image, okay? Now, the new feature is known as anchor to text feature. So when I do this, tap on image, it takes me to my gallery, I'm gonna tap on gallery, grab an image. So I'll grab this image right here, tap on select, click on done. Let me just resize this image real quick so it's easy to follow the whole thing. So I'm gonna bring it up over here, okay? And I'm gonna put it next to that text. Now, right now, we don't have the anchor to text feature on this side. Uh, text here is not anchored to this image, all right? If I put the cursor right here, and if I press next, it is going to drop ABC underneath the image, okay? Now, with the new anchor to text feature, when I uh, go over here and press this, the image is gonna move with the actual text. Let me demonstrate, it might be very useful for people taking notes. So let's do the same thing here, A, B, C, okay? And again, by default, the text, uh, the image is not anchored to text. I'm gonna tap on this, go into my image, go to my gallery. Let me just pick this guy right over here. I'm gonna say done, okay? Now it is, it's a good size. So again, by default, if I come over here and if I press enter, the ABC goes, but the text stays in place. That's an option you have. Now if I tap on it, I'm able to tap here on the three dots, and I do have anchor to text. So the image just moved and anchored itself to the text right above it. So now when I'm over here, look at this. When I press enter, the text moves with the image. Here, oops. Let me just delete that. When I press enter, uh, the image does not move with the text. They're not anchored together. Here they're anchored. So the whole thing moves and then you can make some space and type something over here. So that's amazing little feature. It's a little bit advanced, but if you know this feature, you know about this feature from Word, it's now here as well. So Samsung Notes is getting more and more advanced. Now the final feature is something that I were not able to uh, understand exactly so i'm going to go to my galaxy store at the bottom the final feature looks like something they fix that makes something look better okay it says configurations list of frames with the same height a neat list of frames with the same height is provided so if you guys can tell me what that is in the comments i would appreciate that i was not able to find exactly what they're talking about but somebody out there may know what that number three is all right guys so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.